what are some of the common items of income or receipts in case of an income and expenditure account subscription what is subscription subscription are like membership fees every month every quarter or every year the member pays subscription fees maybe a nominal amount in order to run the particular club the society whatever the non profit organization is so this item of subscription <clears throat> is revenue it is taken on accrual basis and taken to the income and expenditure account income and expenditure account item of revenue on accrual basis that means subscriptions for the year whether received or accrued should be brought into the income <coughs> side of the income and expenditure account any subscription received in advance will become a liability and will go to the balance sheet <clears throat> next entrance fees entrance fees what do we do what are entrance fees entrance fees is like a one time fee which is paid when they come in any person coming into the club pays an entrance fee and thereafter he pays the subscription which may be annual <coughs> now since entrance fees are a one time payment it is often considered as capital if it is capital it is added to the capital fund or the general fund <clears throat> so entrance fees the logic being it is paid only once by a member and therefore such such an amount should not be treated as a revenue item it should be taken as a capital item and therefore we could add it to the capital fund or the general fund <clears throat> however if the entrance fees amounts are small then amount is small and regularly we get some amount of entrance fees it could be taken to income and expenditure account <clears throat> ultimately it would depend on the rules of the particular non profit organization whether they want to treat this as capital or they want to treat it as revenue life membership fee what is a life membership fee a membership fee which is paid for life that means thereafter the person does not have to pay his subscription or membership fee it's paid in one lump sum at the beginning when he joins the particular club or society or the non profit organization such a life membership fund is normally capitalized usually this is capitalized what are the ways of treating it there may be usually there could be two ways of treating the life membership fund one <clears throat> a small amount every year is transferred small amount is transferred to income and expenditure account <clears throat> or it remains in the uh, life membership fund it remains the whole thing here also it is in the life membership fund but every year a small amount is recognized as income <clears throat> in case or alternatively this life membership fund is retained as the life membership fund in the in, in the balance sheet and when the membership is terminated this amount may be transferred to the general fund or capital fund or accumulated fund whatever it is called what is the capital fund or accumulated fund like we said before a non profit organization does not have any capital whatever money is brought in by the members is in the nature of an entrance fee or a subscription whenever the non profit organization makes a surplus this surplus is kept in an account which is called the general fund or it's called an accumulated fund or it's called a capital fund <clears throat> usually if members contribute money it is called a capital fund otherwise it's called a general or an accumulated fund <clears throat> so this life membership fee since it's capitalized it is kept in an account called the life membership fund and shown on the liability side of the balance sheet on termination of this membership when the person ceases to be a member 
the amount which he had paid as the life membership fee may be transferred to the general fund. This is an alternative treatment of the life membership fee. But life membership fees usually treated as a capital item and taken to the liability side of the <coughs> balance sheet. Next we come to grants or donations. Donations when people donate money to the particular organization in order to promote their cause because of some interest in that particular cause, in because of some interest in the service that is being provided by the non-profit organization. Grants may be again some form of a donation from the government or some other public body. <clears throat> now these grants or donations, again there could be two ways of treating them. Donations of a general nature, general nature are often treated as an income unless the amount is very big in which case it is capitalized and may be taken to the accumulated fund. So donations when they are general donations and not of a very huge amount, smaller amounts and it is received every year. Some, some donation or the other is received every year so it becomes recurring in nature. When that is the, that, when that, when, when donations are of a nature which is recurring, small in amount <clears throat> and for a general purpose, then it is uh, taken to income and expenditure account as income. <clears throat> but if it is a special donation, then it is capitalized and retained as a donation fund, special fund, prize fund, sports fund, whatever, special fund for a library fund, building fund, retained for the purpose of meeting the particular expense for which the fund is formed. We might have a building fund. The building fund, money comes in, into the building fund or money is donated for a building fund, means this amount bank account debit to building fund is retained in the building fund till the building is made and completed. <clears throat> On completion, the fund may be released and transferred to the accumulated fund or general fund. So special funds are capitalized. Special fund would be capitalized. General fund, a general donation a general donation may be taken to income and expenditure unless the amount is very large. The treatment of a general and a special fund or treatment particularly of a special fund, we will do in a little more detail. <clears throat> but what are the other sources of income? Income from investments. So when there are surplus funds, if there is surplus cash in a non-profit organization, such money may be used to buy investments which will earn some income. <clears throat> this interest income is revenue and therefore taken to income and expenditure account as income. An endowment fund. What is an endowment fund? <clears throat> Again, it is like a donation, like a grant, <clears throat> an endowment, a sum of money is gifted to the particular <clears throat> non-profit organization. Endowment fund is also capitalized and taken to the liability side of the balance sheet. <clears throat> a legacy, when an amount is left to the non-profit organization by way of the will of a person. On the death of the person, the person in his will may have stated that so much of the assets or so much of the money is to be given to the non-profit organization on his death. Such an amount which has been left to the organization by way of a will, through a will, would be called a legacy. And this legacy is also a <coughs> capital item <coughs> and is therefore taken to the balance sheet. So what are the items? So these are actually not all items of income. Strictly speaking, we may say these are all items of receipts and it is for us to decide whether <coughs> this is income or it is a capital item. Is it revenue or is it capital? Subscriptions are revenue. Entrance, what did we say? It could be capital or revenue depending on the rules of the organization. 
If it is a huge amount, it is normally capitalized. But when the amount is small amount and if the rules specify, we may take it to income and expenditure account. Logically, entrance fee is paid by the member only once and therefore such entrance fees are <coughs> strictly speaking capital in nature. But I repeat, despite it being a little capital in nature, the rules of the organization may determine how the entrance fee is to be treated. Very often, half of it is capitalized and half of it is taken as revenue. <clears throat> a life membership fee is capital. It is the fee. It is a part of the fee which is paid in lump sum by a member as soon as he joins the club. So it's a life membership fee and this is capitalized. Amounts of it's a part of the life assured, a part of the life membership fund may be transferred to the income and expenditure account each year depending on the policies of the non-profit organization. Then we consider grants and donations. Usually such donations or grants if they are uh, recurring in nature, they happen every year, they are of small amount and they are for a general purpose, then they are treated as income. So when are they treated as income? If they are recurring, if they are for general purpose, not specific and if they are of small amounts, usually. In these three cases, if these three conditions are satisfied, they are treated as income. However, if they are for a special purpose, then they must be capitalized. And only when the purpose for which they were formed is over, can these funds be transferred to what is called the accumulated or general fund. <clears throat> income from investments is an income and would appear in the income and expenditure account. Endowment fund, again a fund, a kind of a gift or a grant from somebody, some individual or an organization, <clears throat> endowment and normally endowment fund is also capitalized. Legacy is also similarly something which is bequeathed to the uh, <clears throat> non-profit organization through a will on the death of the particular person, maybe member or other person, <clears throat> part of his, as per the will, Part of his wealth, part of his property, part of his assets may be given to the non-profit organization. That is a legacy and it is capitalized and transferred to the capital fund. 